go. What are you doing? We're gonna be late. Seven peas, honey. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. This isn't cool. No, it is not cool, but you know what is cool? Your game was delayed until seven. You got three hours to kill. Why didn't you tell me? I literally just told you. Does dad know? No. I think I'll figure it out when it gets to the field. That's messed up. Totally messed up. Great. Now I have more time to worry. It's just a scrimmage, sweetheart. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be on my way to MVP stardom in college like you were, so. Yeah, well, I don't care so much about the MVP stardom as I do that free ride so I don't have to pay for that college tuition. Speaking of, maybe you could help me with that financial aid application. Sweetie, I was just joking about the scholarship. It's okay if you don't get it. Samantha, what is it? Nothing. Not nothing. I want you to talk about this. I know. Whatever it is, you can say it. I know. Is there someone out there? I don't see anything. Sweetheart. Don't touch me! how I feel when I see its face. Whose face? <laughs> honey. Babe, I need you to keep talking to me. It, it's, it's nothing. No, no, nothing. It's, I, I can't play tonight. Hey. Sweetie, I'm trying to respect your privacy, but you're scaring me. I'm gonna assume you can't hear me because you've got headphones on. Okay, I'm coming in.
really sorry, but we have to move on. We're turning over your patients to someone else in the practice. We really did try to work with you here. Oh. Hey, Allie, it's Terry. Uh, I, I know a therapist. I know, I know, you're probably rolling your eyes. Why talk to another therapist? Trust me, it was a lifesaver for my sister when Dad died. And listen, I, I hope you don't mind, but I relayed your contact info, so... It's not my time yet. Hi, Allie. I'm Jan. I heard that you weren't doing very well, so I felt that I should come by in person. Who are you? I'm a psychologist. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, Terry mentioned you. He said you were a lifesaver. He didn't tell me you'd be so attentive. <laughs> Since I'm here, I would just like to make sure that you're not a danger to yourself. And then I'll be on my way. Five minutes, that's all I need. Sure. Yeah. No parent should ever have to bury her child. I appreciate your coming. It's a really lovely gesture. I, I don't need your help. I'll be fine. Humor me for a moment. And then I'll walk out that door and never bother you again. Sure. Would you like to see your daughter again? Samantha, would you like to see her? Because I'm sure she wants to see you. Why would you say that to me? You want to know why. Why she did it, it's perfectly natural. She can tell you herself. I think it's time that you left. I am not going to beat around the bush. As a therapist yourself, you know there is a lot of bullshit in this business. Just hear me out. <laughs> this works. I know because I've done it. What is it? It's tea. It's been brewed with a hallucinogenic flower called Dutura stramonium. And you want me to drink that? Just a little bit. Wouldn't see Sam, I'd see a hallucination. The psychedelic effects are inconsequential. It's what happens afterwards. And what's that? I was in your shoes once. I drank the tea. And then I saw him, my boy, my son, who had been murdered 20 years prior. You have no idea how good it felt to hug him again. This is a way to know, to see what Samantha saw, to feel what she felt. Are you ready to take that leap of faith? Why would I believe any of this? Because you're still listening. There's a door to the other side. This opens that door. Give me a call when you're ready to walk through it.
Do you believe in ghosts? That's an odd question. I think it's odd that I don't know the answer. It's 95 degrees outside. This afternoon I saw a kid in a scarf bundled up in winter clothing. I thought that was odd. No, I don't believe in ghosts. So a therapist today, she says she thinks she can help me. Yeah? You went outside? Oh, no, she came here. Why? I don't know. She's unconventional, I guess. Guess so. If she's not, not in our network, we can't afford her. Can you just humor me on this? It's just me working now. I can't keep doing this alone. Well, we don't have a kid to put through college anymore, so there's that. Is that supposed to be funny? No. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. How many handles of vodka are in that kitchen right now? Or pills in the bathroom? Okay, you made your point. Have I? You want therapy? Go outside. It's not fair. You can't keep living in this house, hiding with her memory forever. How is this so easy for you? She's gone! Okay? That's it. I'm sorry. It's not easy for me. Sam, um, this is recording of my song. Let's hope I don't mess it up. You're in space, but I don't know Samantha? Someone outside in the backyard. Call the police. What? Hang on a second. Who's outside? Someone wearing a mask. I see it. That's what's going to take us to hell. What? Why would you say that? I don't see anything. Why would I say what? About us going to hell. What? I never.
never said that. Jesus, Ellie, it's like you're on drugs or something. No, I'm just spooked, that's all. What are you doing? I'm gonna call 911. No! You call the cops, they'll be poking around till 5 a.m. taking statements. We both need our sleep. So what, I'm supposed to just let a crazy person roam around my backyard? No, it was nothing. I just thought I saw Sam go downstairs and then I thought I saw her go in the backyard. You thought you saw Sam? Clearly my imagination is playing tricks on me. I'm sorry. Did you see anyone in the backyard or not? No. Where are you going? To take a look. Why? Why would you do that? To make sure everything's okay. For you. imagination like you thought. Like if it makes you feel any better, I once thought I saw something creeping around in the backyard too. What was it? I don't know, a neighbor's cat. You said that for me to know why I'd need to see what Samantha saw. It's good to hear from you again, Allie. Is it possible? Did she tell you that? That I needed to see these things? Communicating with the other side isn't as simple as picking up a phone. We need to figure out what Samantha is trying to say. Is it possible I'm already seeing what she saw? Are you? What did you see? I saw... Allie, did you drink the tea? I took a sip. What did you see? I saw someone in the backyard watching me. And I know it's the same thing that Samantha saw because she drew a picture of it. You took the lead. Samantha is already trying to communicate. So what do I do now? Talk to me. We have a few chats. I'll help you find her. I don't know if we can afford that. You don't need to worry about that. We'll try a couple of sessions, no pressure. I'll come to you. I know your current situation. Best that you stay inside, close to where she is, her energy. Why would you do that? I saw your story in the newspaper. I sense so much sadness in you. This is what I do. This is who I am. I don't know what to say. Say when to be there. And that therapist I told you about, she's willing to come out and do a few sessions for free. Really? Why? She must have helped. You know anything about her? Terry recommended her. Terry from work? Hmm. Huh. You don't think it's weird, her coming out here and doing it for free? You got a good feeling about her. <laughs> Why are you so high on this? Lately, I am having trouble seeing the purpose of anything. Oh, babe, come on. Come 
What about coaching softball again? What does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying, I mean, it, it might help you find your purpose again. No, no, like, not like purpose for me. Nothing has purpose. What about all those cards in there from your patients? Is there no purpose there? I can't help them anymore. <laughs> I'm a mess. I have no reason to be here anymore. What are you saying? What? Are you saying you'd rather be dead? No. Relax. I'm not. I'm just being dramatic. I'm sorry I upset you. Allie. So what do I do? Strengthen the connection. Why do you want to see her? It's perfectly natural to want to see our loved ones again. You've shown me you'd do anything to share another moment with her. The way you live, torturing yourself. Is that motivation driven by guilt? Do you feel somehow responsible? She had mood swings. At first I thought it was normal teenage angst. You talk to her about it? I tried. <laughs> but it got bad really fast. In the last two weeks, she was really off, um, up and down. And sometimes she was really scared. I just wish I had done something the first time I saw it. So yeah, I do feel responsible. Why don't you leave the house? I can't. Why? Because I'm scared. When I walk outside, I can't breathe. The idea of doing normal things like driving in a car or going to a friend's barbecue, working at a job. It's terrifying. somewhere. Everything you just said, it's completely normal. No, it's nuts. We are therapists. Nuts are our specialty. Samantha was an artist and she kept a sketchbook. I think I mentioned it on the phone. I think she was drawing pictures of the scary things that she was seeing. And I am seeing the same things. May I see? You saw this? Right out there, just like it's drawn. Freaky stuff, right? You saw all of these? No. But the day Samantha died, she talked about a face, and it really scared the hell out of her. It's all very strange. It reminds me of a story I heard long ago. That's all for today.
strengthen the connection. Talk to me soon. Someone made a mistake and put this in my hand. Get that out of here. <laughs> Show me your uh, your beautiful artwork here. Oh, you're a comedian, huh? Yeah. Hi, <laughs> hey. Be careful. <laughs> She's so cute. I don't know where she gets it from. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a grill full of hamburgers. There we go. That's that famous lurking wit. Some to be cheeseburgers. Mmm. <laughs> Be careful, you don't want me to bust out my lines from the wedding now, do you? Oh, please. You know, I love your love is baseball metaphors. <laughs> no. Get the camera out of my face. Samantha, can you come over here? Can I take a video of you? Come here. All right, pause right there. Can you say, I'm four years old? I'm four years old. And I'm almost a grown up. I'm almost a grown up. And I can take care of myself. I can take care of myself. <laughs> That's good. Get in here. Are you lost? You're not in trouble. It's okay. I just need you to talk to me. Were you watching home movies in Sam's room? No. Why? There was a tape in the VCR. So maybe she was watching it. It's nothing we could have done, right? Must have been a warning sign. I just wish I had seen it. So maybe you missed it. Nothing we can do about it now. So that means I'm terrible at my job. <sighs> a little reassurance would be nice. What do you want me to say? She saw things that weren't real. It's your fault. I should have done something. What about you the other night? There's no purpose in anything. Is that a warning sign? Should I be doing something? You think I'm ridiculous? No, no, I never said that. I told you years ago I would never use that word to describe someone. We're human beings. We do what we do. <laughs> I don't know what to say sometimes. Yeah, if your words worth moments. No, I just think you like my old cheese ball lines. Remember what you said to me on our wedding day? <laughs> oh, yeah. Was it, uh... I've always swung for the fences, but with you, 
I actually connected. <laughs> wow, no stumping you. Yeah. Never got that, Kevin. You have to remind me. Cool mountain air. You once said that was the epitome of happiness. Think it's too late for us? How much longer do you think he'll humor your reclusiveness? As long as it takes. How long will that be? I don't know. But he's been very supportive and he still cares. He goes to work every day. Takes on all the financial burden without complaint. What are you trying to say? Are you sure he's at work the whole time? You think he's cheating on me? It's just a thought. Here's a thought, Jan. Why don't you blow it out your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Touche. There's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Samantha's sketchbook. Yeah. I was going to actually bring that up. Seemed like it kind of upset you? I was hesitant to talk about it. I heard a ghost story once. About a scarred face with no eyes. You've heard the saying, the eyes are the window to the soul. Mm -hmm. Many years ago, I was a missionary in Botswana. The locals told us about the Ubuso a malevolent, shape-shifting spirit from an ancient world. On its own, it was simply the air you breathe. But to its victims, it was the embodiment of insanity. The Ibuso had no eyes in its true form. It would steal eyes from humans and use their eyes to see into their soul, to find their will to live and destroy it. The Ibuso fed on misery so if it could see into your soul, it could see your fears, your sadness, your pain. How did they stop it? They didn't. In the Zulu language, Ubuso means many faces. The spirit had the ability to take on any form. That's how it got its name. Once it burrowed deep into a person's psyche, it could manipulate reality. Once that happened, madness set in and led to suicide. The spirit was a parasite, so afterward it moved on to another. And this is what happened to Samantha? And me? No. It's just a story. The drawings are just a wild coincidence. So why are you telling me this? Stories are created to explain the unexplainable. You want to know why. I believe Samantha is trying to show you. So I can understand what she went through? Yes. We need to continue to build the connection. Keep drinking the tea. The door's already open. You don't need to do that. You're not still drinking it, are you? What I've seen, it's not just a vision. It's trying to communicate with me. How do you mean? I saw a boy. Samantha's room he had no mouth. And I saw him in Samantha's sketchbook. Samantha's breaking through. He wrote on the wall, give me your voice. So it's got to be connected. Don't think so much. 
When you see Samantha, it will all make sense. Seems like I'm gonna have to see the face with no eyes before that happens. Let's hope you don't. Hey. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Sit down. We were just kids when Sam was born. We talked about having another baby when things settled down and we finished school. We never had that conversation. Yeah. Life happened. Yeah. You want to have that conversation now? Why? Why not? Why now? You want to replace Sam? No. No, no, baby. No, no, I did not say that. Please, don't put words in my mouth. So why then? I'm just merely bringing up the fact that we never had the conversation. We're not ready for that. We're not ready? Okay, I'm not ready. Don't do that. Don't blow me off every time I try to have a real conversation about something. You always storm off. It's ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. No, I said this is ridiculous. The situation. I already told you I would never call you ridiculous. Hello? Samantha? Are you trying to tell me something? If you are, I don't understand. Outside, Mom. The weather's fantastic. <laughs> Healing is not without pain. We have to look at ourselves in the mirror and see the truth. We've seen plenty of things. There's no truth to any of it. It's part of the process. I could barely will myself out of bed every morning, and then you came along and everything's the same, except for now I don't know it's real. Oh. Do you hear that? You're still drinking the tea, aren't you? I don't see anything without it. That's not how it works. Dump it down the drain. It's done. You can already see the other side. Is that so? How many awful things did you have to endure before you got to see your son? Patience. Tell me to take a leap of faith. 
I did. When do I get to see my daughter? We're not there yet. And then, when I've gone completely insane. Insane people don't have the wherewithal to acknowledge their own insanity. I saw my daughter's dead body come alive in the bathtub. What does that do to help me understand her or her illness? Allie, it's not that simple. Perhaps she's waiting for you to sort something out with her father. Like what? Do you know where Michael stands with you? With your family? He wants to have a baby. Really? A replacement for Samantha? No. Not like that. How old are you? 36. Why? You don't have much time left. For what? To have a family again. Time is limited for Michael as well. If this is what he wants, he might consider starting a family with someone else. On what planet would that be considered helpful? It's part of the process. Get out. Allie. I don't like the way I feel when I'm with you. You knew that I would push you to talk, remember? I've decided that drugs and ghost stories are not good therapy. I don't mean to offend. I'm not going to ask you again. Michael, are you home? <sighs> Jesus, kid, enough with the jump scares. Why do you torture me with memories? Samantha? Morning. Am I dreaming? No. It's really me. I miss you so much. Mom, you need to listen to me. 
You're going down the same path. You're seeing what I saw. But you've yet to see the worst. It never stops. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. But you did know. I was sick. I've wished so many times I could stop you from going in that garage. Stop making excuses. So you do blame me. Don't you want to make things right? I don't understand. You've become a shut-in. Your career, your marriage, your life is a joke. You say that. You've nailed yourself to a cross. Why? Prove you were a good mother? You don't think I was a good mother? But you can make things right. End it. Give me your eyes. Your eyes, give them to me. <laughs> You're not real. Oh, am I real now? <laughs> Some of them slit their wrists. Some of them put a gun in their mouth. Who we'll cut out your eyes? Just like this. What's wrong? What happened? What happened, babe? Just walked into the kitchen and started screaming. What the hell's going on? That is so sad. Well, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. You thought you saw Sam again. I said, I'm taking you to a doctor. No! I'm not going to sit back and watch you keep doing this to yourself. the house, I'm going to call one and bring one here. I'm sorry, but this is non-negotiable. Physically, you're fine. It's just stress. That's it? With the traumatic event like you've both been through? It's perfectly natural. Are you taking any medications currently? I take a Valium sometimes. You take that with alcohol? She has anything to drink today. Michael, is this embarrassing enough as it is? He doesn't need to be here. Well, I brought some samples because I thought they'd come in handy. And I will write you a prescription. Take one of those once a day. Only those, no other pills, no booze. What is it? It's a strong sedative. It'll keep you calm. And then what? The elephant in the room. The visions. I need to run some tests. An MRI is a good start. I don't need an MRI. Allie. I'm not stressed. I'm not crazy. I'm not having a nervous breakdown. It was all a hallucination. I've been drinking a tea that had this stuff called Detura in it. Detura? Well, that's Jimson weed. I don't know. Sure. OK, can somebody fill me in? It's a drug that makes you see things. It's poison. We may need to get her to the ER. No. I'm not on it anymore. I swear. It will kill you. You know that, right? How much? How much what? Would kill you? Any amount. The smallest amount. Please do not take this lightly. This is not magic mushrooms where you get a case of the giggles while watching the carpet breathe. Detour is something else entirely. It's having conversations with people that don't exist. Assuming you don't die, it's self-induced insanity. Ali. The therapist, she gave it to me. The lady making the house calls? I knew something was up with that quack. Do you still have this drug? <laughs> yeah. It is all a stupid mistake. I'm getting it right now. Please take it out of my hands. This is all a disaster anyway. The therapist that gave it to you, do you have their contact information? Yes. I'll get you her card. 
Wouldn't she feel the effects if it was a drug? Under the influence, it's impossible to discern fantasy from reality. Your daughter, she saw things too. Yeah, but it wasn't drugs. It, we had an autopsy done. Is mental illness running the family? No. Schizophrenia? No, no, nothing like that. Um, but listen, okay, this has been going on for a while. She won't leave the house ever. I think she's losing it. I think she's causing me to lose it too. Can't find her card. Her name is Janice Rollins. I'll find her number later. That's fine. I could probably dig up some info just based on the name. Why would you do something like this? You're in the medical field. You should know better. She told me I could see my daughter again. What does that mean? Sam's ghost. I could talk to her on the other side. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's in this stuff? It's strong, like I said. Just get some rest. You need to get this stuff out of your system. Let me borrow it for a second. How long have I been asleep? 18 hours. <sighs> it's okay, you needed it. The doctor said that stuff can stay in your system for days. Why aren't you at work? I'm taking a few days off. Why? I want to keep an eye on you. Sweetie, you don't need to do that. I know I've been a mess, but I don't need a babysitter. It's okay. I want to be here. That's some pretty scary shit, you know. I'm going to make it right, I promise. Should have known something was up the other day when you thought you saw someone in the backyard. I mean, why would you do something like that? Take a drug from a complete stranger. I wanted to see Samantha so bad, I had nothing to lose. I was ready to die. So the other night, you said you were just being dramatic. That was a lie? What else to say? This is my wake-up call, sweetie. I'm so embarrassed. I drink poison from a stranger. I've been a walking disaster. It's not fair to you. I made a string of bad decisions. I want to do better.
message. Hey, Jan, what you did, I need answers. Moon practice. Are you sure you're ready for something like that? Probably not. But I'll tell myself I am as many times as I need to until I believe it. It's too good to work for a healthcare network. I should have broken off on my own years ago, but I was just too scared. That's great. Got in this business to help people, and I want to get that back. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I might take your suggestion and start coaching softball again. Wow. No booze? Maybe steps. Maybe steps would be going outside for once. What's with you tonight? Huh? Hi, Kate. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry it's been a while. Oh, it is so good to hear from you. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, I remember that postcard you gave me with the mountainscape. It really meant a lot to me, so thank you. Are you kidding? Anytime. Thank you. Well, I'm going to be starting my own practice soon, and if you wanted to continue our sessions, we could do that. Um, maybe in a few weeks or months even, when I'm settled. Really? Congrats. It's so exciting. Of course. I speak the world of you. Thank you. I'm to the moon, Kate. Um, I guess we'll be in touch. Okay, bye. that therapist you recommended, she's a real piece of work. Did she give hallucinogenic drugs to your sister too? I'm sorry, what? How could you recommend someone like that? Uh, I'm, I'm a bit lost right now. What, what do you mean? You called, you left me a message about a therapist you called a miracle worker. You don't remember that? Yeah, yeah, he's great. Dave Meyer. He? Yes, is that a problem? Who is Jan Rollins? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know anybody by that name. Allie, what, what the hell is going on? Is everything okay? I just got off the phone with Terry. Can this wait? No, actually, it can't. Allie, I just want to be left alone. What the hell's with you? This thing was chasing me through the woods at lightning speeds. It's like I was in slow motion. Finally get to a house to safety, to the door. My foot hits a rock and I fall. different. 
face. It, it was burnt and scarred and there were no eyes. Just burns. All over. I want to show you something. Where are you going? Is that what you saw? I got spooked from the bad dream. You don't have to make fun of me. Am I making fun of you? Sam saw that. Sam drew that. Are you on that drug again? No. Of course not. Then why'd you bring me this? Because you saw it in your dream! Does what I described sound like a penguin? No, the face with no eyes. Or a pegasus with rainbow hair? Or puppies? There are pictures of the face with no eyes and scars and, and... It's what you thought you saw. You saw it in your dream. I must have heard you describe it. It was just a bad dream. Hello? Mrs. Larkin, hello, it's Dr. Harris. Is your husband in? No, he's out. Can I help you? How are you feeling? Fine. Are you taking that sedative I prescribed? Um, not since the first day, I haven't needed it. Oh, great. Have you had any more hallucinations? No, it was just the tea. That's what I'm calling about. We did extensive tests on the liquid in that bottle, and there was no deterrent present. In fact, there was nothing out of the ordinary about it. I'm sorry, I don't understand. It was iced tea. Just iced tea. That's impossible. Mrs. Larkin, when I said before that we should run... <laughs> So it's real and it's gone after Michael. I thought we could beat it before it got to you, but it's moved on. Time is of the essence. You lied to me. You let me think that you were Terry's guy. I trusted you. I had to. You would have brushed off the whole idea if I hadn't. Leap of faith, remember? I needed you to believe. Is your name even Jan? No. What I do, I have to take precautions. Listen, you and your husband are in danger. Everything you say is bullshit. Why should I believe you? Because you need my help. What was the last thing that Samantha said to you? Nothing good, was it? Fuck off. I 
That's the last thing she said to me. Start making sense. In every case of the Abuso, the last victim tries to commune with the living to warn them, to tell them how to stop it. That's why it is so important to get to Samantha before it's too late. I've already seen her. A corpse crawling out of a body bag, a girl taunting me to cut my eyes out. That's not my daughter. Of course it isn't. It's using her likeness to drive you insane until you kill yourself. That's what it wants. How do you know all this? I've been following it. Since my missionary days, I followed it all over the world. Why am I seeing a boy with no mouth? And why was there a man wearing a doll's mask in my backyard? Ubuso faces a shapeshifter. All illusions to scare you. Why haven't I seen the eyeless face? We need to talk to Samantha. Where's Michael? Running errands, why? We need him. We do? Clearly, it's gotten to him. He's already seen it, hasn't he? What do I have to do? I need you to gather some items. What now? Just. Michael, before you get angry, just let me explain. The thing you saw in your dreams with no eyes is what killed Samantha. And this is how we're gonna stop it. That's Jan. She's the therapist I've been talking to, but she can help us. And I know you're thinking, what the hell, Allie? This is crazy, and I know, believe me. Michael? Wake me up. What? Wake me up from this dream. <laughs> this can't be real. <laughs> Tell me it's not real. What's the matter with you? <laughs> that is the thing from my dream. <laughs> what do you see? It has no eyes, yet it stares at me. I see what he sees. Leave him alone! You want me? Come and get me! Show me what you really look like! You'll see soon enough.
dream of a world. I wanted to ask you more about the things I see. I want to ask you something, too. Last time we talked about whether or not your mother really loved you. Perhaps she was faking it. Do you still feel that way? But I need to understand what's happening to me. And I want to talk to you about your mother. She's not a good mother, is she? I don't like the way I feel when I'm with you. We're done. But you need my help. Or else the Yabusa will get you. It's real? I thought it was just a ghost story. When did you get that bottle of water you're drinking right now? You gave it to me? You seem pretty sure about that. But actually, you got it out of the fridge yourself. The Abuso can manipulate reality any way it sees fit. It can answer phones and ring doorbells. It can take the form of your friends and loved ones. It can have the walls close in on you, make you afraid to walk outside, drive you insane. It is your god now. It can even make this tape you're listening to. Allie. Asleep. I'm sorry. Did you do this? I see it now. Both of us. We're crazy just like Sam. What are you doing? Why do you have this? Where'd you even get it from? Nothing good comes from having this. Michael, it's that thing. Don't listen to it. He wants us to die. Don't you understand? Shh. Why can't you see it? Michael, we're doing fine. Just fine. Don't do this. We can get through this. No. You hear me? All we can do is end it. Don't say that.
pathetic. After everything, you'd still rather stay in here with me than go out there. I told you before, you want my eyes. Come and cut them out yourself. Don't you know? I am your god now. when I'm talking to you, fucking bitch. Already told you, come cut them out yourself. You're against her. You're scared. Who are you? Where you die, just like your dad. You're imagining it. You're the voice inside my head that won't let go. I see the most terrible things because you believe in them. There is no evil spirit. You've trapped us in a nightmare. You need to finally let go. Free us. It's time to wake up. How? Give me your fucking eyes! here. Put the bat down. Look, this whole thing's been rough on both of us, okay? Sweetheart. Do you remember what you said to me at our wedding? Of course. But you're batting a thousand when you're with me. I'm batting a thousand when I'm with you. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. It is you. <laughs> Come here. I'm ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's okay, baby. <laughs> It's okay, you can tell me I'm ridiculous. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> I can't fight anymore. You don't have to. Everything you're feeling right now. Just accept it. 
three. This is what you want. I love you. I told her how you steal eyes. What? Memories are powerful things. Find a good one, a symbol, and suddenly an ordinary object can be used as a weapon to destroy the Abusa forever. Did you forget that I could change faces too? But that doesn't happen. But it does. Sometimes they get their voice, but sometimes they listen. And I get their ears too. She knows your secret now. You took my family. I won't let you take anyone else. I have purpose. Seven P's, honey. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Samantha? <laughs> no. I met her though. She's okay. And she wants you to be okay. You meet her again one day. It's, just, it's not your time yet.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>